Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 1c on fundamental applied mathematics We're on page 25. Uh, once again, during the exercises I'll move quite quickly during do, doing them. Uh, if you are if you are struggling or you're wondering what's going on, write a comment underneath the video if you like, or just go back and actually look at the videos where I've done the theory. So, let's do this question here. So we have the same again, we're just we're finding out the magnitudes of the, the sides of the of the triangle. So we have this triangle here, we have a hypotenuse, we have a right angle here, we have the angle of theta, I'm going to call this angle up here alpha just for the sake of it. We have another right angle triangle up here, like that, where we have the angle, this is phi phi. Okay, phi, so it's just a circle with a line through it. That's the angle phi. Don't be afraid of it. You could call it if you want. You could say you could call it the angle A, B, whatever you like. It just happens in maths people like to use Greek letters and I wouldn't be afraid of them at all. So that's phi and well we're going to do a new another another letter. This one is gamma. That's what gamma looks like. I'm going to call that gamma. And what are you given? You're given that you're given that tan theta is equal to three quarters. You're given that tan of phi is equal to twelve over five, and you're given that h is equal to thirteen. Find x. Now, to be honest, this. You should be saying to yourself, well, this is very easy. By the way, this is given a star in the book, which means they consider this to be quite difficult. Now, I understand that people might find these things difficult, but it's a matter of working out how to do it once and doing the same thing over and over. So it shouldn't be too bad, in fairness. So, first thing, we need to find a value for theta and phi. How do we do that? Quite simple, we say that theta is equal to the inverse tan of 3 quarters. Or you could also write theta is equal to the arctan of three quarters. That means the same thing. How do you find that out? See my calculator there. You can. You write inverse tan by writing, pressing the shift button, then pressing tan, then put in your uh, put in your your angle three quarters. Press equals, and I guess theta is approximately thirty six degrees. Do the exact same thing for phi, so we'll say phi is equal to the inverse tan of 12 over 5. Shift tan 12 divided by 5 gives an angle of approximately, we'll say, 67 degrees. Alright, so let's just look at this triangle here first of all. I'm going to redraw that. Just for clarity, I'm going to redraw that. Okay, so you know this angle height, or sorry, this length hypotenuse is 13. We know that theta is approximately 36 degrees. What else do we know? Well, we don't need to know anything else because we can work it out. Remember, Sakatoa. Opposite. If you're talking about opposite sides, you're talking about sine. This side here is opposite 36. Therefore, its magnitude, its length is 13 times the sine of 36. This one here is 13 times the cosine of 36. At the same time, you could say, well, we have 90 minus 36, giving that this angle up here is 54. Why is that? Because all the angles in the triangle... Oh, that's wrong. What am I doing? That is terrible. <laughs> that's absolutely terrible. All of them add up to 180. Uh, minus 36 minus 90 is 54. Oh, yeah, that's the exact same thing. Sorry. Yeah, 54. Right, all the angles in the triangle add up to 180. So we have those angles, or those magnitudes. We could do the exact same thing with our remaining triangle. The one up here. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to say that we have phi. We have a right angle. We have gamma. We know that phi is equal to 67 degrees. And we know what? We know this. We know, what do we know? If you look at this now, the hypotenuse of this triangle 
is equal to the opposite of this triangle. But we know the opposite of the first triangle because we got it. It's here. So this one is 13 times the sine of 36. That means that this one here is what? Look, lads, it, uh, I know it's starting to look more complicated, but the procedure has not changed one bit. This one is opposite. This is sine because we're going opposite of phi. So it's 13 sine 36, because that's the hypotenuse, times the sine 67. It's the exact same procedure. You set the magnitude of your hypotenuse times the sine of your angle. That's exactly what you wrote there. This one down here is equal to the hypotenuse, which is 13 times the sine of 36, times the cosine of phi, which is 67 degrees. Sorry about that, now you can see that. 67 degrees. And you're asked to find x. Now I never even drew x. x is this length here. That's x there, which corresponds to this length here, which corresponds to 13 sine 36 cosine 67. And just for completeness, let's fire that into the calculator. We have what? We have 13 multiplied by the sine of 36 multiplied by the cosine of 67. Press that equals and we have x is approximately 2.9 centimeters. Now just give me a moment, I'll check the back of the book and see if that's correct. So we're exercise 1c. And we're doing question 4, x is equal to 3, that's what he says, and what do I get? 2.98, 2.9, x is approximately 3. Correct. Now look, that, I'd say if you can do that, you can do any question uh, in relation to these and you really understand it.